hey guys welcome back to our channel logic to code so in this video i'll be talking about four sum problem so i already made a video on three sum problem so if i haven't watched that video just go and watch that video and then come back to this video because the concept three sum and four sum that i'm going to use here is almost same so if you watch that video it would be easy for you to understand this four sum problem right so what this for some problem is given you are given an array and a target value so you need to return all the quadruplets whose sum is equals to this target value and there should not be any duplicate quadruplets in the solution right and the three sum problem was given a array like this you need to return all the triplets whose sum is going to be zero and also the solution set doesn't contain any duplicate triplets right so the logic that i'll be going to explain with the code itself so so let me start with that so one thing that i would like to tell you is that i'm going to use two pointer approach so what is two pointer approach is that so you are given a sorted array and if you need to find two two numbers whose sum is going to be zero then we we just sign first pointer to the start of the array and the last pointer was to the end of the array and then we accordingly move move first and last pointer so that uh, we are able to reach two values whose sum is going to be zero right so the concept is pretty much based on two pointer and the three sum problem so you can refer these two things before watching this video so let me now start so as I need to return the vector of vector so I'll just make result vector so in which I'll be adding all the quadruplets so first I'll uh, try to find all the quadruplets including the redundant one and after writing the code then I'll explain you like where from where we can get this duplicate quadruplets right and then we'll try to remove that duplicate ones right so first i am creating a result vector then for applying two pointer approach i have to sort this array right so i'll just sort it so the input array is nums so now let me create a variable who's, who's gonna store the size of this input variable input vector right so now i'll be using two for loops so as there are four variables over here so for applying two pointer approach in this sort of problem we need to fix two variables so i'll fix a and b and for the remaining two variables i'll be, I'll be going to use two pointer approach so i equals to zero i less than and minus three i plus plus so because i cannot go beyond and minus three because the all the for finding four elements maximum i can go up to this n minus n minus i think four right so up to n minus four right so now i'll be having one more variable so this would be going till n minus 3 right so after having these two variables i'll be creating two variables to use two pointer approach so k would be j plus 1 and l will be n minus 1 so the first pointer is pointing to the remaining uh, at the start of the remaining array and the l point l pointer is pointing to the end of this array right so while as the array is sorted so i can apply now so while l less than n so if i'll check nums of i plus nums of j plus nums of k plus nums of l right so as i need to equate this with the target so i'll bring target on the left hand side so if this is equals to zero which means we have just found a quadruplet so i'll just push back these things in in the result variable so nums of i comma nums of j comma nums of k comma nums of right so this is the 
first quarter plates then after finding this we need to increment k and decrement l right so there are two more cases if this is not equals to zero then in that case it would be either greater than zero or less than zero right so if it is greater than zero so to make this equals to zero we need to decrement this overall sum right and for decrementing that we need to uh, decrease else so that the overall sum reduces and there is a chance that it it will be equals to zero right and if it negative then in that case we'll just increment k right and at the end what i'll do is that i'll just return this result right so this code essentially finds all the quadruplets but there would be redundant quadruplets in this solution so how we can remove this so there will be three cases where we can get uh, duplicate quadruplets so let's look at this test case so initially i would be here j would be here uh, and j would be i think here minus one right and q would be here right and l would be here right so if you sum i plus j plus k plus l it's going to be zero right so we'll add these four into this r result vector right so after that what we'll do we'll increment k and then decrement l right so you can see that so by incrementing k and decrement l we are getting the same elements so initially k was one and initially l was two now after incrementing k we still get nums of k equals to one and after decrementing l we still get nums of l equals to two right so essentially we are finding minus two minus one one two so what i'm saying is that minus two minus one one and two so this quadruplet is already in our solution but if i increment k and decrement l we are going to get this same quadruplets again right and what is the reason for getting this so the reason is obvious that once we increment k and decrement l and if we get the same element which essentially means that we are generating a quadruplets which already we have in our result vector right so to eliminate this what we can do so while l plus 1 is less than k minus 1 and if nums of l so, sorry so it would be the first pointer is k so k plus 1 is less than l minus 1 nums of k is equals equals to nums of k plus 1 and nums of l is equals equals to nums of l minus 1 right so this is the case there right so if this is the case we want to skip that right and for skipping that we just increment k so move k forward because this k and l is not necessary for me because i already have in our solution right so in this way we can eliminate this redundancy now let's see the second second believe we can get a redundant quadruplet like this so initially i would be here right so j would be here right k would be here and l will be here so after one pass so i'll come here right i'll come here so let me remove jkl so now only focus on i so i is minus two and after the first iteration i'll move to here right so as you can see that by fixing i equals to nums of i equals to minus two we are finding three elements in the remaining array such that the sum of all the four elements is equals to target right but if i increment i and we're getting the same minus two which essentially means that the quadruplets that i'm going to generate now is already i have in our result in the previous iteration right so understand it carefully if you do by yourself then you can understand this so what i'm saying is that if you generate all the quadruplets with this minus two and then your i moves one step forward and still i is minus two so in that case we'll get the same set of quadruplets that you have 
in the previous iteration so we need to remove we need to pass this so i don't want to happen this so what i'll do is that if i is greater than zero and if nums of i is equals equals to nums of i minus one so in that case i just continue right so this way i can remove this duplicacy and the third case is here so let's say i is here j is here right and k and l uh, we apply the two pointer approach from these this part of array right so after that the j will move here right j will come here right j will come here so again you can see so once j was here then we have what i is pointing to minus 2 and j is pointing to minus 1 right and we found two values in this part of array such that the value present at these four indexes now the sum would be all the four values presented on these four indices the sum would be equals to target right but again you see once you increment j so we are getting the same com combination of minus 2 minus 1 right and if you find let's say when j was here so let's say j was here j was here then we'll get minus 2 minus 1 1 and 2 this combination right once j moves here then we'll get the same combination minus 2 minus 1 1 2 right so which so this case is pretty much similar to this case but there is some difference in these two cases so we need to remove this case as well so to avoid the duplicacy so how we can do that so what i'll do is if j is greater than one and nums of j is equals equals to nums of j minus one also j minus i is greater than one so why this condition so you understood this nums of j equals equals to nums of j minus one why this j minus i greater than one so as you see here if j was here so if j was here let's say j was here so which essentially means that we are having the first set of combination with this minus two and this minus one and in this case the difference is one right but if j moves here such that the nums of j equals equals to nums of j minus one and the difference is greater than one which means that in this iteration we are going to generate those quarter plates which i already have in our result vector so in that case we just have to remove this right so these are the only three cases where we can get the quarter uh, so if this is the case we will continue from here right so these are the only three cases where you can get the duplicate quarter pets so we'll remove that and i think the code should work now so let me run this yes so now let me just submit this code so yeah it's got accepted so if you didn't understand anything you just repeat this video and just do this analysis with you by yourself and you'll be able able to understand this right so thank you for watching this video if you like our content make sure to subscribe this channel and like this video thank you have a nice day